So the the website is essentially it's it's for doctors, and so the topics that come up are usually specific either to um, non-clinical topics like politics and reform, like healthcare reform, and its impact on the private practice or for physicians in hospital settings, or you might have, we have a lot of younger doctors who are talking about their career path and what they should be choosing to do. And then there's the other half of the conversations which are clinical in nature. And these are in which, cases in which physicians post HIPAA compliant uh, write-ups of patient histories and they are looking to hear from their fellow physicians to crowdsource their toughest cases. Um, so there, it might be a neurologist who's been handed a patient history by somebody else and uh, somebody may have been misdiagnosed and this is quite common um, in terms of the discussions that happen. They want to hear from an immunologist or a pathologist. So they'll upload this case and we will blast it out for them to thousands of other physicians in those specialties they need to hear from. Um, rare diseases often come up in these conversations in a way, and I think this mimics how it happens offline in the doctor's office. Um, a, a doctor will essentially create a case because they think something's not right about the initial diagnosis. Um, the symptoms may be mostly there, but not all there, or they're presenting in a way that just doesn't add up. And so rare diseases do come up quite often. And more of the, the late breaking or the newer specialties like genomics are starting to fall into these discussions quite frequently. And these are things that clinicians, especially ones who are 20 years in practice, they may have taken for granted in the past what their knowledge was in a given disease, but more and more they're realizing there are fewer horses and more zebras than they thought when it came to diagnostics. And so they're gonna have to team up to, to bring real value back to patients and to keep them on the right path.